Hey everyone, my name's Slick. Welcome to another video. Today we're going to cover the latest patch to Elyon. We'll go over what changes have been made to the game, the Ruby Shop, and how these changes may affect your in-game experiences. Now before we continue, I post Elyon videos and other games every other day. If that interests you, please consider subscribing and hitting the bell to be notified when I upload. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks. So what goodies do we get today? This is going to be another minor patch. It's going to consist of performance adjustments and consistency. There's a content update scheduled for next week, after which we're going to go back into a cycle of minor patches. So all Halloween decorations were removed, as well as all of the Halloween outfits and mounts were also removed from the Ruby Shop. The world quest schedules for EU servers has been adjusted to alleviate performance issues. The prohibited words list has been adjusted. The direct transaction button has been removed from the marketplace UI. Chat type icon plate has been added to the chat window for German, French, and Spanish. The party member summoning door item has been changed, allowing it to now be destroyed and to be sold for 50 gold. The item grade of the outfits for the Honorable Nobility and the Jack-O-Lantern have been changed to Epic. Like last week, this is just another consistency change to make sure that the grade matches the color. There's actually going to be an event going on called the Hearth Leaderboard. We'll get into that later. There's some known issues right now. Uh, there's been an issue identified where you can purchase the restricted items in the Ruby shop uh, past their restriction timers. Uh, due to this, the following products are disabled for purchase right now. That's going to be the Luminous Battle item drop rate increase, the Gold Acquisition increase, and the XP gain increase, as well as the 100 AP Recovery Potion. These are all in the Loyalty Shop. There's also an issue where the bullseye effect in some skills does not apply correctly. This will be fixed in an upcoming patch. Now, before we jump into the leaderboard event, let's go ahead and talk about the Ruby Shop changes. As mentioned before, the Halloween items, the outfits, and the mounts were removed from the shop. Uh, there was a new outfit added, and that's going to be the Brilliant Guardian outfit. It seems like the outfits have minor changes in regards to your class. Uh, this outfit is going to be offered for 2200 rubies. The black and white armored horse mount was added for 1,000 rubies. Their stats are as follows. Now, let's move on to the biggest part of this update. That's going to be the leaderboard event. This will take place between November 10th and November 24th. So, it looks like they're adding an event for us to complete some tasks and earn some points. Given the difficulty and time of the task, it will give you more and less points. Uh, keep in mind, whenever you're killing players, you cannot kill the same player more than once to earn points. To complete the last task of achieving level 40, you need to do this on new characters. Any character already above level 40 will be ineligible to receive these points. So, what juicy rewards can we expect? If you get between 1 to 10 points, you'll get a Celestial Weapon Box. 11 to 30, you'll get the Empyrean Weapon Box. 31 to 100, you're going to get the Tuxedo Cat. All three of these rewards last for 30 days. The final reward at 10,000 points is a Luminous Selection Box Grade 2. This equates to 3 Grade 1 Luminous if you're doing the upgrade at 100%. Keep in mind that if you are going for bug abuse or any other inappropriate method of receiving points, your rewards may be cancelled and you may be banned from the game. Now, I do believe that there should be a Luminous Grade 3 box offered. I don't know if it should be at 10,000 points, but I definitely think that one should be offered with the recent Luminous changes giving us less ways to get them right now but i do remember cacao saying that they're looking to make more ways of getting luminous so hopefully we can expect more ways to get that going forward now cacao is looking for feedback for this event uh, i would definitely recommend joining the discord that's where most of the communication happens between players and the community managers so consider joining that i'll put a link in the description that's going to wrap up the November 10th patch. I'll continue to provide these updates as they happen, so if you want to keep up to date with Elyon patches or any other Elyon content, please consider subscribing, hitting the bell, and like the video if you enjoyed it. I'm currently working on the 35-38 and 38-40 guide to arm you with the most knowledge that I can to play your characters the most efficient way possible. So if you're looking to make alts and you want to do it the right way, or if you're new to the game, or you just want to see how I play the game, feel free to wait for those videos. They're coming very soon. Until then, I want to thank you for your time and support, and as always, happy grinding on Elyon. Peace.